everybody, it's Jenny here at Mount Pisgah Arboretum and today we are right next to the bridge by the pond and we're going to do one of my favorite things to do out here which is scoop the pond to see what kinds of critters we can find living under the water. So I have my net right here and I've got my bucket of water ready to go. So let's go see what we can find. So here's our bucket, and you can see that there is a lot of stuff swimming around in so here. All of the little critters that you see floating around in the water are called invertebrates. So an invertebrate is an animal that doesn't have a backbone. A vertebrate is an animal with a backbone. So if you feel your back, you have a backbone. So humans, we're vertebrates. But all of these little animals in here, well not all of them, but most of them are invertebrates. So that means they don't have a backbone. And most of the ones that we're looking at are called macroinvertebrates. Macroinvertebrates are things that you can see with your eye. You don't need a magnifier for. Although, if you look close in the corner, there's these tiny little dots swimming around. Those are plankton. That's a microinvertebrate. I turned it around because most of the little fish are hanging out on this side of the bucket. So you can see them, they're right at the edge. There's about three or four of them. And those little fish are kind that lives in our pond and they are not an invertebrate. So they are a vertebrate, right? Fish have a backbone, they have a spine. These are little fish that don't ever get much bigger than uh, about here when they're full grown. So they are not a large, they're not a tiny fish that's gonna grow into a really big fish later. These ones always stay pretty tiny and small. The other cool thing that's over here is this right in there. It might just look like a bit of plant, but it is actually a creature. It's a caddisfly larva, and caddisfly larvas build themselves a little shelter for protection and camouflage. And what they use are either little pebbles, if they're in rivers or streams, or they'll use in the, our pond bits of plants. So leaves, little tiny sticks, and they grab them and they stick them all together and make this like kind of like a little shell for themselves. Here comes the damselfly. Damselflies are predators. They eat other bugs, um, and as adults, they look very similar to dragonflies, except that dragonflies have to hold their wings out all the time. Damselflies can put their wings back next to their bodies. There's also floating down the middle of the picture, a snail upside down. So snails will do that sometimes. They'll go upside down because they um, will collect a little bit of oxygen on the surface of the water. So sometimes they're floating and it's a way for them to move around sometimes. There it is on the surface. Oh, 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 it flipped itself. It's on the side. And there it goes back to eating algae and other things in the water. Snails are kind of like the cleanup crew for the pond. Oh, and just coming into the picture on the side, well, the damselfly is back, but also just above the little square with my picture is a water strider. So there are those bugs that, yep, there it goes. They have tiny hairs on their feet that help them be able to float on the surface of the water. And they're predators also. They will eat little bugs and things that come up to the surface of the water. They'll grab them and eat them. There's some water boatmen. See, they're swimming forward, those little beetles. Water boatmen eat algae and little plants and things that they find in the water. And they've got those really oar-like paddly legs at the front. So they look like they have paddles, like a boat. Do you see some of these tiny things, creatures? So that's the plankton. Those, uh, the ones that look like they have two little feet are copepods. And then the ones that look like just a little, a little round thing are Daphne. 
sometimes called water fleas. Then you can see how fast they move and how there's so many of them. There has to be tons and tons of them in the pond because they start the food chain. So if there weren't a lot of them for other critters to eat, there wouldn't be all of these bigger water critters because they wouldn't have food. Here's the caddisfly larva up close. And you can see that this one made its little shelter out of little sticks and things that it found in the water. And if we're lucky, after a bit, it might start to poke its head out of its shell for us. Here's one of those little fish. There it is on the side. Swimming, swimming around. Oh, there's a caddisfly. You see its little head poking out and its little legs? They are so well camouflaged. You would never imagine that that's a bug when you first see it. And caddisflies are grazers, so they eat plants. So they're usually hanging out around the plants in the pond. Okay, it's time to say thanks to our little pond critters for letting us check them out for a while. And I'm gonna put them back in the pond where they belong. Bye everybody.